nectar to mock me. I never understood why they call these zero insertion force. I mean, I suppose it's supposed to mean the amount of force you put on the cable to put it in. I always find I have to have to take something to hold it in place while I push this stupid thing back in. All four of those are the same size, so I'm going to set this right here and four screws right beside it. I'm thinking Arby's. And you will see lots of the shielding tape everywhere. Do not be surprised if you have trouble trying to get the shielding tape to reattach. This pretty much seems to be the way they're designed. It's just to be a pain in your rear. The connectors for the wireless card. Are two tiny little Best way I can describe is it kind of like a uh, cable TV connector, I guess you could say, except you don't have to screw it in. It just kind of pops out. You got the one little pin. The pin is actually on the card, which I have to now remove so I can get the rest of the cable out. straight up. Remember to pull them straight up. If you do it at an angle, you risk bending that pin, damaging that one little pin. And guess what? You cannot just buy these stupid cables. You gotta buy the monitor. That's what I love about laptops is they're unnecessarily expensive in almost every single regard. Route the cable, route the cable. All that there, cable for your wireless card. And if you're wondering how to keep track of your wireless cables, kind of put them back in here, back in their little path. You'll notice that they're going to stay in pretty much the same position that they were. As long as you don't go and bend them, you're fine. Don't really have to worry too much about that, but. You really want to make sure you can take a little picture of the camera phone if you got one. Uh, that's kind of the quickest way of doing it. You can label them so you know, you know, black goes here, white goes there, or some are red and black. Um, I've seen white and black. Apparently, somehow the tip of my 
forceps has become magnetized. This is where you're probably going to need normal pliers. They usually tighten these guys down really, really good. Because monitor is probably about third to weight, if not more, of your laptop. So, it's definitely something you don't want to just have kind of floating out there. Something you want to make sure is going to be secure. Fortunately, these screws are all the same size, just like the ones on the keyboard. When you're taking these screws out, be sure to support the weight of the screen. Again, the forceps prove useful in removing screws. More annoying when they got this like tip to them. Screens usually got a peg attached to these that go in probably about a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch into the actual body of the computer to give it more support. And that's usually part of the screws removed initially. Now, this seems to have some kind of plastic covering. I haven't seen anything quite like that before. I don't understand that logic. Except to make it look pretty. More things to piss you off. I want to set the screen safely out of the way since it's huge. With its four screws. Yes, I'm setting it on the floor, but fortunately, nobody comes walking in here. So, no comments on that. <sighs> okay. You would think you're halfway done, but... Sometimes you got another onboard stick of memory. If you're wondering why I have not grounded myself, the table is grounded. This whole surface is completely grounded. It is designed for this kind of work. The chair is also grounded. So just by sitting my butt down, I don't have to worry. I'm more than grounded. So let's see if we can pull the screen up some here. I screen the body. And we apparently cannot. We got strong resistance in this corner. Very, very strong resistance. There we go. This is interesting. It appears to be that the motherboard is actually attached to the top half of the system. That's scary. Usually they're attached to the bottom half. So let's go ahead and remove other nonsense cards like the modem. If anybody ever charges you a whole bunch